Hello everyone, Juan Carlos here and, and Gio. I'm over here, but we have somebody special in the back seat. That's, Hello. That's Vero. She's my sister. Yes. We introduced her to you just in a recent video when we were in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And where are we now? We are now in Florida and we are going to have an adventure today. We are. So we are going to the Everglades. It's a little chilly, but we're going to see if we can find maybe some birds, some alligators, some and other some creatures. creatures. <laughs> we're not quite sure. So we're going to head out to the Everglades right now. We got about an hour drive ahead of us. And then when we get there, we're going to show you all of our adventure today. Are you excited, Beryl? Yes, I am. She's I'm never so been excited. there. It's no. her first time. We are at Billy Swamp Safari. We are, and we've brought you Billy Swamp Safari a couple other times on this channel, uh, but we've never been here when the temperature's been He's 61 low. degrees, <laughs> and we're just coming out of the rainy season here in Florida, so I'm hoping that when we go on the swamp buggy, there'll be like lots of water out there. I hope so, yeah. And we'll see what, what the difference is with a wet safari versus we a dry. see different animals. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, it's a little overcast, like I said, it's about 61 degrees out, which I think is perfect because last time we were here, whew, we were sweating. Oh yeah. It was very hot out. Um, Vera, you've never been here before. I am so excited to be here and I hope I can see alligators. Okay, it's yeah. It's so important for me and go. Yeah, so let's do it. Time. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Vamos. <laughs> All right, so you can see by the sign behind us, airboats. Airboats. No. Airboats, yes. <laughs> so we're going to get on the airboat. This is Vero's first time, your second time. Yes. I don't know how many times I've done it, quite a few. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go out there. It's going to be a little chilly. Got my jacket on. Juan Carlos is brave in it right now, short sleeves. We'll see. Mine is in, is in my backpack. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Beside the trees, you'll see a lot of stumps sticking up out of the water, which is part of its root system called cypress knees. Now, the cypress knees is a stability for the tree, and it can also be used as feeders. They can live off the moisture of the air and all the humidity we have here in South Florida to where the tree's good and healthy. Now, the cypress knees, they can grow up to six feet tall on the biggest trees, and they can grow about 50 feet away from the tree, and they can intertwine with other root systems of another bald cypress to where they can grow together. That what makes this tree so very protected and special. Okay, we just came out of the Everglades and we got off the airboat and oh my gosh, what's happening? Pharaoh's getting eaten by an alligator. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta have a little fun. 
So, what do we think about the airboat ride? It was amazing. It yeah. was amazing. It was so fast and so and cold. a little cold. <laughs> yeah, definitely cold. My nose is running a little bit. Like, it was like, yes. ooh, chilly. And then we saw a couple alligators. Yeah. Yes. Which was awesome. And one of them was actually Two. moving. <laughs> yeah, and then right as we were leaving, the one that was on the rock moved and went in the water. Yeah. I think I got footage of it, so you'll you'll see that. And we also saw one, like, what kind of, some kind of um, deer. Yeah, so it's the largest species of deer, and we learned that it sheds its horns twice a year, and it's called the Chinese swamp deer. Oh, deer. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. So we saw that, and uh, we didn't see a lot more. We saw a lot of birds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, and we, we learned something too about alligators that I didn't know, that when the temperature gets really cold, if they can't get on the land and get the sun, that they can go underwater and they can actually stay underwater for almost 24, 24 hours, hours. Mm -hmm. and they can slow their heartbeat down to three beats per minute. Mm -hmm. And they bury themselves in the mud in the swamp. There you go, you learned something just like we did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so now we're going to go on a swamp buggy and uh, see what we can see out there. Vamos. No? Vamos. He's like buried partly under the... All right, so as you can see by the sign behind us, swamp buggies. It's time for the buggy. We're time to go in the swamp. Can you say yee-haw? Yee-haw. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, right? But you didn't do it. Oh, okay. I thought you uh, were asking her. I was asking both of you. Okay. Let's on the count of three do a big yee-haw. One, two, three. Yee-haw! <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go ride this swamp buggy, and I'm hoping because it's coming out of the rainy season that uh, there's gonna be a lot more water than the last time I rode it, uh, which means there might be more critters out and about. We we shall see. We will. All right, let's do it. Let's go over there here and get on a swamp buggy. Time to head out. We're gonna see what we can see. Interesting brake system. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be interesting right, to so see. This first, Here we uh, go. Bird species we're going to encounter to the right of us are great egrets hanging out by the bank of the water there. Oh, look at the egret. Same to the right. Now, this is a type of waiting bird. What I mean by that, he's sitting there waiting for his next meal very patiently. Such a small little fish, frogs, and minnows, and things like that. So when he catches a fish, he's going to eat it head first. The reason for that is so the gills of the fish do not get stuck in his throat while he's trying to enjoy his food. You see all that beautiful green leaves on it? That's known as a resurrection fern. Uh, just about three days ago, it was all brown, shriveled up, it looked dead. And it can stay this way for 100 years without water. The moment it gets water, give it about four to five hours and it's going to start to brighten up like it is now. swallows his food. And doing so inside that stomach, it grinds it up for him, <laughs> for him to digest it. <laughs> he thinks that he's eating something. Yeah. Now this is kind of a, he's almost fully mature, and you can tell that because of his back. Like I said, they are all born that brown color, and they gradually start changing colors from the hooves all the way up to their backs. You can see he still kind of got that brownish coat going on in his back there. We are almost done with the tour, but it was amazing. Yes. Little bumpy. Little bumpy. 
Okay, so we just got off of the Swamp Safari. And let me tell you folks, I've been out here a few times and although it's cold out mm -hmm. and although it's overcast, this has been my favorite Swamp Safari yeah, tour. Yeah, I think it's uh, we saw a lot more animals and activity than last time. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely a, a, quite a few animals and, that you saw in the video. We got to see up close and personal that ostrich. That was cool. Yeah, that was <laughs> pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> um, we saw a wild coyote. Hopefully I captured some footage of it. I've got the wide angle lens on. It was a little far. And according to our guy Nuno, that's the first time he's ever seen one and he's been doing this for years. Uh, we saw lots of different types of deer. We saw zebra, birds, lots of beautiful birds. Yes. Um, Thanks. A hawk. Yep. And a pig. And yeah. So lots and lots of really cool things. Definitely. You can hear there's an airboat coming in behind us. So hold on one sec. I'm gonna hold. Fast. So the airboat is gone, uh, but we just wanted to take a minute and say thanks a lot for watching, and we really appreciate all of you out there watching our channel. Uh, Vero, anything you want to say to all of our viewers? Come, come to see this place. Yeah. It was really um, nice, and um, continue to see the YouTube uh, channel. Appreciate it. Yeah. So they should subscribe then, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Subscribe, yes. Do it. Subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff. And as always, happiness, happiness is a, a lifestyle. lifestyle. Yes, it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out from Billy Swamp Safari.